chocolate for dessert. I know I do. We're gonna make the chocolate strawberry shortcakes. Strawberries represent springtime, and they're the first fruit of the season. And did you guys know that strawberries are the only fruit that actually have the seeds on the outside and not on the inside? And also, who cores their strawberries? And I'm gonna give you a little trick on how to do it. This is an expensive tool. It's called a free straw. And we're gonna start at the bottom of the strawberry, and we're gonna just push up, and then just kind of push until the top starts to make its way off of the strawberry. And then you can just pull it out, and you've got the core and the top. Let me give you another tip about strawberries. If you want to make a fancy fan, and a garnish is intact for this dish for sure because we want to really impress people, make sure that you fluff up the green top. What you need is a nice large strawberry, a paring knife, and you're going to start at the top, but you're not going to go all the way through. And as you do a line after line, keeping them close together, you'll go all the way to the end of the berry until you're finished. And then just with a easy push, you can fan out these berries and make yourself a beautiful garnish for this dish. But let's get into the strawberry shortcakes. We sliced our strawberries, and to the strawberries we added a third cup of sugar. And these have to sit because the sugar really makes this all come together and sweet, but it also is what's called maceration. And that maceration allows the liquid, allows the sweetness that's naturally from the strawberries to blend with the sugar that we added. And we need that because it's really going to help give us some liquid to the dessert dish. So we set these aside and now we're gonna go for the shortcakes. In the food processor, I have a couple of cups of flour and we need to add some baking cocoa. We have some baking powder, we have some salt, we have some sugar. We'll blend this. Just until it's mixed together. And then we're gonna add in some chocolate chips. Why not? It's a good recipe. We want all the chocolate we can get in there. We'll just pulse it. Now we need some cold butter. Cold butter is very important because if it's not cold, all it will simply do is melt into the flour mixture and you won't have a nice rise and you won't have a lot of tenderness to your shortcakes. Let's blend that. Lastly, let's put in some half and half. We have three quarters of a cup of half and half. And this is just going to moisten this dough. Now the texture to this dough should be just moistened. And if you see that it's just a little bit dry, that's okay. So carefully we'll remove the blade. And then we're gonna use our hands to play with our food. So we're gonna get our dough and you can make these into drop type biscuits if you'd like. You can make these into square shapes if you would like. But what I like to do is I like to make mine in a nice fancy scone shape. So I'm gonna make a circle and then we're just gonna pat these down to about a half of an inch thickness and just squeezing around the edges. Now we're ready to cut up our scone shaped biscuits. And just with a dough scraper, I'm gonna go across and just punch down to make nice little triangle shapes. Now we have to brush these with egg white. And the importance of brushing these with egg white is that this is gonna give it a brilliant shine and it's also gonna help with holding on the sugar and the added chocolate chips that we're gonna put on here later. Some more mini chocolate chips because you can't have too much chocolate in my opinion. 
And then we have some nice coarse sugar. And this is just colored. You can pick a color or you could just use clear. But the nice coarse sugar is going to give it an extra sweetness and also it's going to give it just a little bit of crunch. Then you'll slide these onto a parchment lined baking sheet and we're going to pop these into the oven at 450 degrees for 13 minutes. And the Taste of Home Magical Kitchen has some right here ready to go. So now we need to finish this recipe. And what do we need to do? We need to load it up with some strawberries. We need to load it up with some whipped cream. And we took some hot fudge topping and we just heated it in the microwave just to make it so that it's nice and warm. So what we do here is we have a resealable plastic bag and I'm just gonna snip this right off, not too big, just small enough to where you can really get it to go. We're gonna take our berries, and I like mine, the wedge of the shortcake, just covered in berries. I don't like to cut it open. I like to be able to have a nice big bite with all of these beautiful sweetened berries. It's a perfect recipe for the springtime, even in the summertime. This is something that you could serve at family picnics. Just load that there. Let's get into the whipped cream now. And then the last bit, we go in for the kill, with the drizzle of some nice warm hot fudge topping. This last one's gonna be for me. Just get all of that hot fudge right on there. And that is the chocolate strawberry shortcakes.